Hey guys, Victoria here. This tip, this hot tip today is for anybody with a business. So if you have a part-time business or a full-time business and you are using your headshot anywhere, whether it's on a business card, on your LinkedIn account, on your website, we're coming up to the end of 2016 and you guys are probably like me and you're reviewing this whole year and figuring out, okay, what am I gonna do going into 2017? Well, it's time to review your image and online presence as well. This is my very well organized bag of business cards that I've collected throughout the year. And my guess from experience over the last two years is that probably about a third of them, your online image does not match who I've met in person. So it's time to get real and take a good look at that and maybe budget to do some headshots coming up into the new year. Now this happens for a number of reasons. You've perhaps gained weight, lost weight, changed your hairstyle, stopped dyeing the hair and it's now all gray. For whatever the reason, it's time to revisit that and make sure that you have an image that correlates with who you are in person. The other thing I see happening a lot is that when we do a professional headshot, of course we wanna look our best. We have our makeup done, our hair's perfect, and sometimes we look way too flawless, and there's no way that you could look like that in person. So make sure when you're shopping for a photographer that you're looking for somebody that is willing to make your look your best, but also bring out the real you. Some Thing that you can look the same online and look the same offline or very close to it. Anyways, that is my hot tip for you guys today. If you want any more tips on how to stay on top of your professional image, head on over to beautifulyoubyvictoria.com and there you can download your free e-guide from me. Have a great day. Bye.